Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. We all love Drupal's taxonomy system, don't we? It's awesome. It uh, allows you to easily categorize all your content on your site into many different categories and then display them easily onto a results page uh, when people click on the little term on, on your nodes, right? Well, that's all fine and dandy, except uh, the results page is really boring. Uh, it's nothing but a list uh, in teaser format of nodes. If you want to change that, good luck. Start hacking. Um, I'm going to show you an easier way to change that today uh, using some template override files and using views um, to show a much more interesting uh, look on a taxonomy page and that will hopefully open up your mind and, and let you think of a whole bunch of different ways that you could do and uh, do this and use this method. So I'm going to do that and then we're also going to uh, put some pieces of content on the taxonomy term page that are not in that list but we want to relate to that page uh, such as a taxonomy term description or something like that. It's not easy to do right now. Uh, so I'm going to show you a easy way to do it uh, using this method and views and everything else. So let's dive right in. Uh, what we're looking at here is just a regular taxonomy term page. Um, I've created a taxonomy that's just for colors. Uh, you know, if you look at my terms, I've just got colors of black and blue and green and red. Um, and I've just tagged my nodes with those colors. So this is the black taxonomy term page. Um, and it just shows all nodes tagged with black, which you can see over here. Pretty boring, standard stuff. If you had a zillion nodes, your pager would go on forever. And uh, it's not that great. Since this isn't a node, it's not very easy to change, but we can use some, some uh, formatting and some template overrides that are similar to nodes uh, so that themers like me can actually understand uh, how to update this thing. So the first thing that we need to know is a uh, file name that uh, isn't super easy to come across, but if you dig far enough, you can find it. Um, it's called taxonomy underscore term underscore page dot tpl dot php. This is your master override for any uh, for all your taxonomy term pages. So I'm going to save that and what you'll see is if I refresh uh, and flush my caches uh, you will see that all of that goes away because I've just taken over this page. Well what we want to do is uh, rather than just a boring list we want to use views uh, because we can do all kinds of awesome stuff. We can decide which nodes show up in here. We can decide what order they show up. And we can decide, uh, we, you know, we can, we can separate page nodes from story nodes. We can uh, exclude certain kinds of nodes. There's so much that we can do with views this way uh, that we want to use views here. We don't want to just use the default taxonomy term listing. So we're going to look at how to use views uh, to do a bunch of this stuff. So I've started uh, a view. I've created a new view. And what I'm going to do on my taxonomy term page is I've just got two content types, page and story. Um, and I've got a bunch of nodes uh, tagged with uh, taxonomies. So I'm just going to create two lists. One is page and one is story. That way on our taxonomy term page, they're separated. Let's say they were events and photos or something. You want those separate. You don't want them all in one long list. Uh, so I've created two views. And let's just look at my defaults. Um, I'm just uh, using fields, HTML list, displaying 10 of the latest items. Uh, my fields are just title and the post date. Um, I'm making sure it's published. And then on the page uh, content, or I'm sorry, on the page view, I'm just filtering to only show page. On the story view, I'm filtering just to show story. Um, and that's it. So if I save this, um, that's all fine and dandy, except for the fact that uh, what this would mean if we really stepped back and thought about what we were doing here is that we would have to build a view like this for every single taxonomy term on our site. What if we had free tagging? What if we had thousands of taxonomy terms? There's no way. There's no way we're going to do all this. So uh, what we want to do is use something called views arguments to be able to uh, dynamically filter our content uh, based on that taxonomy term. So this is something arguments and views or arguments in general are something that developers and programmers deal with every day. But themers like me, uh, this was a new concept that I tried to tried to understand and I didn't for a really long time because um, I had developers explaining it to me. Here's from one themer to maybe another themer um, the explanation that that really clicked with me. Really what this is is a dynamic filter uh, to your view. So uh, if we, what we're saying is, we're saying, look at the taxonomy term ID for the current page that we're looking at, and 
and, and stick that into the view as a filter. So only show me nodes from this taxonomy term that I'm looking at. Um, think of arguments that way, and I think they'll be much more useful. So what we need to do then is add an argument. We're going to add an argument uh, for the taxonomy term ID. And uh, I'm going to just do some basic validation here. I'll hide it if there isn't any content. Um, I'm going to look at my taxonomy term. I only want to show terms from the vocabulary colors. Uh, you'd want to mess with this if you had multiple vocabularies. I'm going to use term ID, only numeric IDs. This is just validation. You actually don't even have to do any of this if you're just testing and kind of working it out. Um, so I'm going to update that display. So now taxonomy term ID is my argument for both of these, uh, both of these blocks. So we now have this saved. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our template page, and I'm going to put in a little HTML. Um, oops. If I could type today. That's just going to help me lay these out. I'm using a grid system, uh, and I'm thinking in the future of doing a podcast on uh, using grids within Drupal. If you're interested in that, uh, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments for this episode. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed a view. Uh, this is your views embed code. Let's look at this to see what this is doing. So we have view equals views get view view name. This view name is your machine readable name for your view, which in my case is taxonomy pages minus the comma, which I'll delete out of there. So taxonomy pages is my view. And then with this specific one, I'm going to embed a block. And this says block one. So I have block one, block two, block three, block four, block five as you add them. So I'm just going to use block one. Now, uh, this is where your argument goes, right here. Um, and uh, the argument that we want to use is the term ID. And this actually has to be an array. But on taxonomy pages, uh, we're handed an, handed an array with all of our taxonomy term IDs called TIDs. So all I'm going to do is duplicate this. Uh, so this would have been for my page block. I'm going to look at block two for my story block, uh, these two blocks that I've created. Now, if we all say a little prayer and go back and we refresh, yay, we now see our description. Let's add uh, a little description at the top just so we know what these are. Yeah, I know, those should be H2s. I know, I know. Don't critique my semantic markup. Um, so we now have uh, page nodes, story nodes, and these are all, if you go to them, you'll see they're all filtered under the black taxonomy. That is awesome. So uh, this is great so far. But as I said earlier, usually we want to add some kind of description or something to this page. Um, something that's not in one of these lists, but is related to this, this node. Uh, or I'm sorry, this taxonomy. So if we wanted a taxonomy description on the top of every taxonomy term page, um, in theory, you'd think we could go, oh, OK, let's just uh, go up here and type it in and hit save. And it'll show up on our taxonomy page. Well, again, that's fine if you want the same description on every single taxonomy page. I think you don't. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to generate it dynamically. The first thing we're going to do to do this is uh, create a new content type. Oops. Um, and I'm going to just call it taxonomy description. OK, and I'm going to save that. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to add on a field. If you remember, we're going to have to use an argument to display the proper description on the taxonomy term page. So what we don't want to do, that what, what you would think to do is go, oh, well, let's add taxonomy to this. Um, and just grab taxonomy, um, and that'll be my reference for this taxonomy term description. Which The reason you don't want to do that is you don't want this term description to actually show up in any of your taxonomy term listings. You don't actually want this categorized as that taxonomy term, if you follow me. Instead, what you want is you want to reference a taxonomy. Now, there's this module out there. I never understood what it did until I tried to do this or, or what the purpose of it was. It's called the content taxonomy module. What this does is it's a CCK field that allows you to reference a taxonomy term instead of actually tagging uh, your node with that term. It's just a reference. So that's the kind of field we want to add on here. So I'm going to manage fields. This is just going to be my taxonomy reference field. It's a content taxonomy fields type. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to make it required. And then I'm going to save it. 
So with that all said and done, uh, I'm going to create a description for my black taxonomy. I'm going to create content, taxonomy description. And I'm going to choose black. This is my reference to my taxonomy terms. I'm going to just go ahead and paste a quick description in here. And I'm going to save it. So now what we want to do is we want just this body part right here to show up on our taxonomy term page. So I'm going to build a view to do that. Just a side note, you don't want this, this actual node to display on your site anywhere because people are going to see it and it's not going to make any sense. So use robots.txt and path auto to hide it from search engines. Uh, do all that kind of stuff to make sure it's not going to show. Um, so let's go back to our view now. And I'm going to add a new block just to display this taxonomy term. I'm going to only show uh, one node because there should only be one description. I'm going to change my type to taxonomy description. I'm also going to change my fields so I just show the body of this. Override a little bit here. I got to delete my my defaults. And then I'm just going to add the body back. And with none of that. Okay. So now we have our body. Now the only other thing we have to change is the argument. Uh, we now want to use the uh, that field that we added to the content type as our argument. So I'm going to override this and delete my default argument. And I'm going to oops, I'm going to add my new field, my taxonomy reference field I created as the argument. And I'm going to do some basic validation here, same as I did last time. I'm going to save it. Now, we should be all set. Um, so I'm going to create um, a new spot here, and I'm going to embed another view, which is going to be this taxonomy description. Um, and I'm just going to do block three. And we still want to reference the term ID from this page, and that will feed into the argument um, to the taxonomy term reference. And once again, if all goes according to plan and I refresh, hooray, there's our taxonomy term description. Now I've got it as a list. I probably should change that to unformatted and stuff like that. But what you can see here is that now we can build some awesome looking taxonomy pages that look kind of like home pages or landing pages or whatever we want them to look like using views, embedding those views, overriding that template file. It is an awesome way to theme taxonomy term pages and they truly can be the coolest uh, page on your site. Uh, I'm going to do another podcast. I'm thinking about maybe doing panels next. Uh, don't hold me to that, but uh, what you can do is you can jump over to mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast, um, and we have this new system where um, we're asking you to chip in uh, a few bucks for every podcast we release just to cover our time here at Mustard Seed for producing these. If you appreciate the podcast, if they're helping you out, throw in a few dollars every time you see one go up and we'll continue to release these. That allows us to release them on a more consistent basis. Um, so if you want to see a podcast just on the basics of panels, I actually don't use panels at all, so I'm just going to show you the basics of how it works. Um, jump over there and click the banner at the top uh, for the next podcast. Uh, and of course, always leave your comments uh, under this episode uh, if you have questions on this method or anything else. Visit my audio podcast over at geeksandgod.com, and in the meantime, have a great week, uh, and we'll see you on the next podcast. Bye-bye.